Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD-EXB 330 LAR-K HDMI extender kit. This product was designed to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second location up to 100 meters away over a single Cat 5e, Cat 6, or Cat 7 cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content, including ARC, and employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire system. Also included are a set of infrared blasters that allow you to capture the remote control signals at that second location and pass those back over that same LAN connection to the primary location so you can actually control the content you're watching. It also can pass RS-232 control signals over that same LAN cable. Finally, the product also includes a second 100 base T connection at that secondary location to extend your internet connection from the primary to the secondary. Now as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the major components and explain exactly how you use them. I'll list the features and specifications the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module, a single power supply that's used to supply all the power required for the solution. You'll find two brackets that can be used with each of these modules to mount them up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find a set of infrared blasters for the receiver, another set for the transmitter, and two RS-232 connection blocks to make that wiring easy if you're gonna use the RS-232 function. You'll also find a warranty card and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and other information you'll need to understand about the solution in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned, next I'll take a closer look at the components, I'll list the specifications, and then we'll do the demonstration. Now I'll take a closer look at the main components included with the kit. You'll find a transmitter module, a receiver module, a 24 volt DC 1 amp power supply. Simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar. And because this system uses power over cable technology, you can plug this into the transmitter or the receiver and you'll have all the power you need to operate the solution. You'll also find a pair of infrared blasters for both the transmitter and the receiver. And these are responsible for picking up the remote control signals from the remote location, then rebroadcasting them out of the transmitter side. And if you look closely, you'll see the ends are slightly different. You have a smaller one and a larger one. The smaller one is the infrared transmitter and the larger one is the infrared receiver. And it's important you plug those into the right ports in the back of the modules. The smaller one plugs into the infrared out and the larger one plugs into the infrared in for the proper operation of this infrared blaster kit. Both of the modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and also help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. The transmitter module on the front has two indicators right here, power and ARC. When you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. The ARC indicator lets you know if you're using SP Differ Audio or HDMI ARC, and you can select between them by tapping this button. On the bottom of the unit, as well as on the sides, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature, as well as mounting holes here that you can use with the included bracketing kit to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. On the rear of the module, you'll find all your connections. On the left is a DC input port that's used with the power supply and tighten the collar. To the right of that is a private LAN connection between the transmitter and receiver. This has to be a CAT 5e, CAT 6, or CAT 7. One end of it connects here, the other end connects to the same port on the receiver. To the right of that are the infrared in and infrared out ports you'll use with the infrared blaster kit. This is where the optical audio connects, so if you're using SPDIF, you'll make a connection here. This HDMI input port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with that remote location, short HDMI cable from here to that device. The LAN port can be connected to your router, which then extends that LAN out to the remote location. That's a 100 base T LAN. To the right of that is an RS-232 connection port. This unit can share RS-232 connections across that same LAN, and you can use the connection block that's included with the kit to make wiring easy. To the right of that is a service port and a switch for servicing, and this is used for pushing new versions of firmware to the unit later on if updates are made to that firmware, and that's explained in the manual. As far as the receiver goes, same indicators on the front, power and ARC. Again, power will come on once the power on self-test completes. ARC will come on if you select ARC from the HDMI connection. Ventilation slots on the bottom and the sides, mounting holes as well for the bracketing. On the rear, a similar set of connections. You can choose to plug the power supply into the transmitter or the receiver. If you plug it into the transmitter, this will be empty. 
To the right of that is the other end of that cable you're running between the transmitter and the receiver. Infrared in, infrared out, optical connection for SP diff audio. The HDMI out connection would go between the receiver and your monitor. Again, an HDMI cable there. This LAN port can be used for connecting that 100 base T to a computer at the remote location. This is the other RS-232 connection port. There's another connection block included with the kit for that. And again, service port right here and service switch. And that's pretty much it for the two modules. The O-Ray UHD-EXP-330LAR-K is compatible with most modern media devices, including DVD players, streaming devices, digital video recorders, media players, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of ultra-high definition 4K media content, transmissions up to 100 meters over a single Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 cable. It is both HDMI 2.0B, HDCP 1.4, and HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides power over cable technology, as well as 100 base T network connectivity. It also provides IR pass-through and RS-232 transmission signal support. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, this side of the table represents the primary location where you're currently enjoying the content. Right now I've got a small media player connected to this monitor and I'm looping a video, and that's the content that I'd like to share with my remote location. This side of the table represents that remote location. It's wherever you'd like to enjoy the content from the primary side. Now keep in mind, these two locations can be up to 100 meters apart, connected only through a single Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 cable. I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by disconnecting the media player from the monitor. It's a standard HDMI connection, and I'll plug that into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter. And now I'm ready to add power. I've already plugged the power supply in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it with a locking collar, and I'll plug that into the DC input port on the transmitter, and I'll tighten the collar. Now the minute I add power to the transmitter, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking all of the electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's also checking the resolution of the media player to make whatever adjustments are needed to send the best possible picture and audio across to the remote location. Now we're ready to connect up the remote receiver. I've got an HDMI cable connected to the monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port in the back of the receiver. Now, because this system employs power over cable technology, I don't need a second power supply at the remote location. All the power needed to run that module is sent over that same LAN connection between these two modules. So the only connection we're really missing at this point is that Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 cable between the transmitter and receiver. And I've got a short one right here that's a Cat6, and I'll plug that into the transmitter first. And before I plug it into the receiver, you'll notice there's no power lights on the front of the unit. The minute I plug this into the LAN port in the back, the power light comes on, and the receiver now is going through a power on self-test where it's checking all the electronics internally. It's also checking the resolution of the monitor to see what kind of resolution it can support. It's trying to handshake with the primary site, and they're negotiating right now the best possible media stream to the remote location based on the resolution of the monitor. And there you go. That's the media content from the primary site, and it really is just that easy to get it working. The other advantage to this system is that it has a LAN connection between the primary site, which you can connect up to your router, and the secondary site where you can connect a computer up here for a 100 base T connection over your internal network at home. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the UHD-EXP-330-LAR-K HDMI Extender Kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to share any HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 100 meters away over a single Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 LAN cable. The product also employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire system, which greatly simplifies your wiring. And the inclusion of the infrared blasters means that your remote control signals at that second location will be captured and passed back over that same LAN cable to the primary site where they're rebroadcast so you can control the content you're watching. In addition, the product also provides a 100 base T connection to that secondary location. So at your remote location, you'll not only enjoy the media content from the primary, but you'll have an internet connection there as well to use with a computer or a laptop or any other device that needs connectivity. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit. And with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.